In this video, we're going to see what the branch node does and how you can use it. The branch node is useful for making a decision based on conditions or verifying data points and taking a different path for your workflow. Let's go ahead and add this to our workflow. So what you can see here is I've got a workflow that randomly passes or fails with a node that generates a random Boolean value that is either true or false. But my branch node here has a condition set to true or false. And then we've got a branching off of the path here. So what this does is depending on whether the condition is true or false, it'll then go down the then path or the else path respectively. So let's start with building the then path. So we'll have this be a return node that has a 200 OK status code and a hooray message. The else path is going to also have a return node, but instead, this is going to instead be a internal server error with a oh no return value. So we could ship this with the condition of true or false, and then it'll always do that. But we want this to be random, don't we? So here's the thing. You can use this condition and also assign it to an expression. And using my handy dandy Boolean generator, have that dictate whether it's true or false, and then do our pass and fail accordingly. But this is just a starting point. Expand this any way you like to build your ideas with a powerful backend.